Today's tutorial is on how to add titles or credits to your movie. So we start with Windows Movie Maker open and we have our movie down on the timeline. Now just to make this a little bit easier to see the full thing I'm going to just drag the end of the movie back down to make it a short movie. Now, to add text or a, a title, we need to have the Tasks menu open here. And from Edit Movie, we click on Make Titles or Credits. Now here, you've got the option to add the title at the beginning, the title before the selected clip, title on the selected clip, after the selected clip, or credits at the end. The difference between these are title at the beginning puts it right at the very beginning of the movie. Before the selected clip, if we had two clips on here, which I'll just put this one on here, so we have two clips, we can select this clip by clicking on it, and then when we select the before the selected clip option, it will insert the title section here title on the selected clip gives us text which appears above the video as it's playing. After the selected clip would be, if we clicked on this clip here, it would insert the title after this selected clip, so put it again in between these two. This is useful if you've got several clips which you want to insert different titles between. And credits at the end of the movie is quite an easy one. That will insert credits at the end of the movie here. Now I'm just going to delete this clip there because we don't want it. Get our title section back up. We'll start with title on the selected clip. We click on there and we've got the box open which we can start type, uh, typing in. So how to add a text section on a movie. <coughs> As you can see in the preview screen the text comes up and across the top here we've got the fade in and out option selected for how it appears. Back on the left hand side we've got change the title animation. By clicking on that, that gives us all of these options uh, to change how it appears when it first comes on screen. We can have fly in top left and again you've got the preview there as to how it um, comes in and goes out and again in the top it shows which selection we've got. Uh, we could have ticker tape, uh, flashing and there's lots there to choose from so just decide which one you want and um, And stick to it. I'm going to go back to the fly in top left. We can also change the text font and colour. We click on the uh, button there, and you've got the similar as any word processing uh, application. You can change the font. Let's, uh, I mean, there's hundreds here again, so we'll just say old English text. There we go. Uh, it's different. You can change the colour. If you want to change the colour, you click on the change background colour box. Um, click on the uh, on the A there, which will give you the uh, colour palette come up. Let's make it something really bright so we can see it. So I'll pick this red. I'm not suggesting you pick red anyway um, as a norm, but it depends what it's going to go on the back of. Click on OK, and it shows you the... Uh, the colour of the text there. This button here uh, changes the background um, colour if you have a title section um, other than appearing on top of the uh, video. You can also change the size of the uh, text, make it bigger or make it smaller and whether it's justified to the left, the right 
or central. We also have the normal bold, italic and underlined pieces as well. I'll leave all those on just because they're there. If you want to, you can change the transparency of the text. If we take it right down to nearly the end, you can see that it is very nearly see-through there. So it depends on what um, sort of movie you've got and what sort of feel you want. I'm going to leave it set on 0% because it's so much easier to see. When you've done, click on Done, Add Title to Movie. And it's added it where the timeline marker is, which, uh, my error, I should have moved that back to the start. But it's quite easy. We can just click on the um, title section and drag it to where we want it. So we'll put it right at the very start there. And if we have a quick look at that, it comes in from top left and then goes out top right. Now perhaps we want that to last a little bit longer. It's the same as um, adjusting any transition or still. Click on the uh, text and then move the cursor until you get the double headed arrow and then you can drag it. That's the same length as all of it. Now when you do that it will come in, stay on screen for much longer and then move back out. Now perhaps that's a little bit too long and that's the point to take it to. We'll just get back to there and we have, uh, we should have, take that back to the beginning and play. We have our title come in and then move out. Now perhaps put some quick end. So clicking on make those all credits. And let's go for credits at the end. And this is the tutorial. That's what we'll call it. And then the credits we need to give will be Graham Hughes. Use the tab key to move over to the uh, other section. Was the uh, editor. Okay. And tab key again. Or in fact, I've actually got those the wrong way round. We should have um, had uh, the name here, Editor, Graham Hughes. It depends, you can have it whichever way round you like, because uh, that's giving me the editor slightly smaller and Graham Hughes. Um, tab key to go down again, and we'd have uh, text uh, written by... And oh, strangely enough, that was me as well. So you can just add whichever you like there. Again, you can change the title animation. I quite like the scroll up uh, one, so I'm going to leave it as that. And you can change the text font and colour. So let's change the font to the blue colour there. OK. And that looks quite nice against the blue background, which I might leave. But if you wanted to change the... Uh, blue background, you tick on, tick, click on the change background and whichever colour you want, click on it and there we've changed the background. You can play around as much as you like because you can just click OK and change it again and there you go. That might look a bit bright on a, on a big TV screen so let's go back to the uh, muted blue that we had originally. Again, you can change the size of the uh, text and uh, the positions. Perhaps let's uh, not uh, have that as uh, italic. And when you're done, click Done, Add Title to Movie, and it adds it automatically at the end. So we then have the movie ending, and then the title credits start. You may well want to um, have uh, a better um, join on those, so we'll just take a uh, transition and put it between the two so that it uh, fades in and out a little easier so it's not quite so sharp on the eye. Now I'll leave you to have a play and if you have any questions just contact me using the uh, 
details on the website. Thank you.